since, since we was kids. Um, I've known Dutch, well, known about Dutch, well, known Dutch because we we got so, uh, mutual friends, mm-hmm. right? And um, I just I love I I, I like his personality, and I was just like, yo, bro, come pull up. Mm-hmm. Basically, that's basically how. Literally. That's basically how it happened. Like Literally. I was like, I was supposed to come pull up for it for a, a minute. A LeBron episode. We just want to talk sports. So that come pull up was like around the time where like how long was Two Humble Productions? Okay, 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 from bigger, okay, 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 okay. We got time. Let's talk about okay, it. Okay, 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 okay. Like, All right, so Two Humble started with me and about five of my my friends, right? Um, we were all talking about we wanted to do a podcast, right? Uh, we've been talking about it for a while, right? But we just never made no moves on it, mm-hmm. you know? So, um, one day we was at my bro's house, right? In the living room. I put the phone out, right? And, uh... Oh, yeah, so I put the phone out. Just started recording. We started talking, right? Uh, after we got done with that, that night, I was just like, yo, I'm gonna just put it on the book. Mm. Like, yo, I don't care what nobody said, I'm just put it on the book, see what people say. Then uh, we got some good feedback. And then after the feedback, we uh, we got some mics. We were like, yo, we're going to really do this. We started doing it. And then um, I was like, nah, I want to take this serious. Like, I want to really, like, take this serious. So um, I went, I got the LLC, you know, got the logo made. Then um, we started switching stuff around, you know. Mm started formatting it because before when we first started we were just talking a whole bunch of like outlandish stuff we were just trying to be funny you know you guys watch million dollars worth of game yeah, right, right, you know right. you know yeah, just yeah, trying yeah. trying to emulate some stuff da, 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 trying to find our niche and then um we found it you know i was like uh, i like interviewing people you feel me i i i worked for tmz for a little bit out here in the city oh, nice. uh i interned at a um radio station up where i live so you know, I, I so you mean uh, new to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was kind of familiar uh, to it, and then um, we just started started from the bottom. Just yo, you trying to come up on the show? You trying to come up on the show? We was interviewing, you know, musicians, politicians, uh, anybody. To be honest, I just wanted mm-hmm, just I just wanted to talk. Um, so like, at what point did you really? Cause all right. How long, because I know you said you wanted to do it for a while. How yeah. long did it take you to actually start making the move to do it? Once, I'll say, once I got out of college, a, a year, about a year, a year and a half out of college. And when did you realize you wanted to take it serious? After the first episode. After the first episode? Yeah, yeah, like, oh, yeah, 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 I was like, not, was actually yeah, 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 yeah. And that was that, like the pat on the back and everything. Yeah, and then I was like, yo... Like we we got some like we could do something. We're in an area. There's a lot of talent out here too that Probably. doesn't get uh, a light shined on them. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I was like, yo, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it for our town. You know, the eight four five, and try to put everybody on. How put, many how many episodes you win right now? I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> we definitely over like a hundred. Oh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I we Monday through Friday. I, I, you know, when we first started, it wasn't like that. It was, it was, you know, we was jumping from place to place, actually, mm-hmm. from house to house to see where we can record, right? Yeah. And then my pops moved out, right? And then I, I got the house. So once I got the house, I was like, you know, we turning this oh. into the, to the spot. That was everything you needed, yeah, right, right there. So once we did that, she started moving. I know it's um the name is too humble, but exactly how many. Is actually part of the whole because I know oh, it's every, there's a whole oh okay there's a yeah, whole bunch D. of us oh yeah, yeah yeah I say all right so obviously me Vaughn DJ Darius Q DJ Bronx Kenny Marshawn uh am I missing anybody mm-hmm. am I missing anybody sound like it sounds like it's a lot more people than with cameraman cameraman uh Ken shout out Kev. Every time when people do shout outs, they forget to get me. I'm like, yo, you what? gotta yeah. see the name of it, man. Uh, but, uh, now, yeah, there's, there's about 10 of us. But we're trying to grow, though, because I'm trying to expand this. You know, I, I, I want it to be more than just a podcast. That's why it's, it's productions. You know, uh, Too Humble Productions is the company, Too Humble is the podcast. You right. know, that's the first production from Too Humble Productions. Right. You know, I plan on uh, expanding. You know, I want to report, you know, sports. You know, I want to, I actually want to get into writing. You know, and I know a lot of people who write. I want to, I want to produce, 
little sh short stories. I got yes, yes, my yeah, I, I got I got a whole bunch of you know I got a creative mind. You know, I was gonna ask you like uh, with the podcast, would you want to stay around with just doing uh, artists? I, I know you said you want to do everything. Mm -hmm. You want to just do artists, or you want to? I want to do keep uh, doing everybody. Every, politics, everybody. Everybody. I want to show you know it's just not music, and that we're educated. You know, right. we know, right. you know, we're young black men up there. You know, we can talk, we can talk politics. Right. You know, and educate other people. Right, not know? just this, the music. Yeah, and, and the sports and stuff right, like that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So I know you said y'all was bouncing around from uh, house to house before y'all really got comfortable. But what was like really the move that y'all set up that was like, all right, now is the time to really attack and apply pressure? <sighs> when? I, well, for me, I'm going to be honest. For me, like I said, after that first episode, right, and when I had really saw the vision uh, in my head, I was like, I have to, we have to apply pressure then, you know. So that's when I went on and said, I told the guys. We actually had a, uh, a conversation, you know. I sat sat them down. I was like, yo, you know, I'm about to start putting money into this. You know, I'm about to really start doing this. So I need y'all to be going a hundred with me, or mm -hmm. or if not, like. Just tell me you can't do it. You feel me? You tell me you can't do this, all right. But if you're going to be up here with me and do this with me, we got to go full. Right. You know, we got to go full. So then, like I said, after that first episode, I started paying for promo. You know, that's when I really got on it. You know, I was like, oh, we got to go every single day. We got to get, you know, a routine so so people know when we go on. You know, mm -hmm. we can't we can't be, oh, bounce. One day is a Monday. The next day is a, it's a Saturday. And yeah. then it's a, you know, then it's a Friday. Yeah, it's a exactly. So that's what really helped us like really build, you know, with the consistency. I ain't even gonna lie, I got a little beef with one of the people in your camp, man. Who? Oh, <laughs> I got a little beef with listen, one of the people, listen, man. listen, listen. It's a he's, it's so he's, loud. He's, 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 he's something else. <laughs> he told me about this. <laughs> but we were sitting in the crib one time, like smoking. And he was like, "Yo, has I've been dealing with a podcast, da 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 da, like you trying to." I was like, yo, bro, I'm about to get up and beat you up because you know me and my brother been doing right. music. And and the crazy <laughs> part is, yo, as soon as we started this, right, he's supposed to be my, you know, my CEO of the executive YO branch, right? <laughs> he's supposed to be there, yeah, my, he's, he's so right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be out here in YO. Yeah. Yeah. I was ready to fight this nigga. <laughs> hey, I was ready to fight. I was like, yo, bro, yeah. how you been doing this and you ain't even... Yo, you mean right? me all like I, I should have been knew about this. Ben, I been telling you. I was on the truck. Me, I was busy. Yeah. So you said y'all got a hundred episodes recorded. Is that a hundred episodes dropped, or y'all just a hundred episodes over a hundred? Yeah. Is that all over a hundred put out, or just collectively you have some in the stash and you're nah. waiting to drop? All out from between audio because we started Everything off with audio, stream. Everything. right? So we started off with just audio. Actually, I forgot to say that we started off with just audio for a little bit, right? And then I say, yo, they're not just gonna want to listen to us. They want they they gotta see us yeah, exactly. Right. So right. then I was like, nah, we gotta get the camera. Mm -hmm. But from audio to visuals, definitely over a hundred hours. So those are like milestones. Even from ten to twenty five to fifty. To 80, how did you feel when you got to your 101? Like, when you just sat out and just put it out, yeah. it was just like. It, it was hundred. I know. Him. You know, it was it, was, it was great. I'm not even going to lie, cause <laughs> tell him what I told you. I, I love the pro I love the progression. You know, you want to you want to say what you told him? Come yeah. Come nah. I'm high. Nah. 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 nah, bro. I just tell you. Just say it. If you want to say it, say it on the mic. Count your episodes, bro. Count your episodes. You need seasons. Stop playing around. He did. He didn't even know. This thing is way over on it. Yeah, definitely. Possibly, possibly two. It's been possibly it's too. been over it's been over. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna go count after this. What's um one of your favorite shows that you record? Um uh, my favorite one has to be with uh my boy Rez, right? Uh he Rez Custom, shout out Rez Customs. Uh he customizes uh sneakers up back in the A four five. But uh, he came up. Uh shout out 845 Exotics, mm -hmm. you know, one of the best exotics mm -hmm. spots oh, yeah. out. Yeah. Right, uh, he came up. Now this snacks. not this is it's not a snacks. My oh, bad. Right, right, it's right, not right, a right, snacks. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, he came up. He brought. They brought a whole bunch of snacks. You know, we just chopped that it up. Or just not, not real, like, real snacks. life snacks, but, but no some, weed involved. No, yeah, no <laughs> weed involved. But these snacks, they're crazy. Like Mountain Dew Doritos. Oh wow. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a low-key shot. Okay. I'm to school and everything. Is it like those Japanese like forms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen that post go viral on Facebook. Yes, yes. Is it, 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 do he have a store? Yes. Is it like a little corner store yes. right on the front? Yeah, yeah. Yo, he has everything. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yo, everything. That's yeah. wow. ridiculous. Fact. So oh, yeah. he was, we were just up there. We were just chopping it up, eating the, eating the snacks, doing taste test reviews. Mm-hmm. And shit was, it was just a good time. I seen on um, one of your shows you had the uh, I don't want to get their name wrong um, the backpack boys is that their name the, the hoodies. hoodies the hoodie boys yeah the hoodies the hoodies yeah, yeah. shout out the hoodies shout out the hoodies how was that that was because I ain't gonna front I seen like from when they you know what I'm yeah. saying from when they first started the little yo. clip of the videos little dude was going crazy yeah. like how was that that that, that was uh, yo I can't even explain it to be honest that was that's up there too that's probably my second favorite episode how did that come about you even. Well, they're from the eight four five. Oh, right. they're from around the area, right? Right. So, um, you know, we hit them up, and you know, they they just showed love. To be honest, oh, they was so like, yo, oh. they showed love, and they came up, they spit, and then, to this day, top two freestyles up there. How old is Lil Duke now? Wow. Oh, I remember mean, he was probably, dumb young when he was doing that shit. I'm on probably fourteen. Where? Fourteen, one of the other. That's what's up. And, and they rap, rap. They they. they different i know let's get back to you were saying um you want to get into writing yeah writing as far as like music no, 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 no 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 like like stories so the screenplays yeah, and yeah screenplays yeah, right, right, right. the music stuff i just love listening to it you would never think about getting into it like i don't think that's that's my lane like maybe the maybe the beats Right, maybe, but you know, you give me like producer. Yeah, yeah, maybe, like, maybe, maybe, you know. But besides that, nah. I mean, I just, I'm just a fan. A I really, like really big fan. I you know if you start making. Music, I, got bro, you, bro. I got you. I got you. I got you. So you did say earlier that um, you and Darius man, high school, college, you know, college. Yeah. My bad, so I'm gonna say college. How was your relationship when y'all first kicked off? Like, Two Humble Productions was already formed. No. I, no. Oh, so so damn so two two humble been two humble been up for a year as of last week. And you have over two hundred Yeah, let's give this man some we, roses. We gotta bro. work. We gotta nah, work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, for real. That's a nigga shit. That's a lot of work. That's man. a lot that's of work. Just, that's the only way you get there. Work. And last week was like the anniversary yeah, of the year coming about. Yeah. yeah. So how how did your relationship like kicked off when y'all first like got in tune with just y'all two? Oh me and Dennis? Yeah. Oh well, we met at orientation. I said we both said we was about to play football, and once we said that, it was it was right there. It was Word. it was over. The brothers, yeah, know how that right. Is. And then, uh, which was crazy, one of my boys who uh, was going there at the time, right, was his sweet mate. Mm. So then, you know, I went over to to the crib. I seen. Yeah, I was bound to meet each other. Yeah. And then after that, it was it was clipped. It was it was over. It was over. I'm actually a little interested. Uh, how how long was you playing football for? Like ever since like a kid or yeah. when did it start off? Yeah. Like, so football just always been in your blood. Yeah, I had yeah, that was like the motivation for everything. Like I don't I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't wanna go to college or anything if I'm not playing football. Mm-hmm. You so you looked at that as something as a hobby, something to keep you out of trouble, something to do in the meantime. Nah, that was it was life. Honestly. It was just like that honestly that was a career that I wanted to pursue. You know, and then uh, after college, my body was like, nah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was cool. Yeah, yeah. What position was you playing? Fullback. Oh, oh man. Shit. You had fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that yeah, position is extremely dangerous. It is. It is. What about you, bro? Um, How long have you been, you been dealing with it? Just as long as you have been up? Nah, actually, um, actually, um, they started, they was up and running. I was just a fan. I was watching. You know, I was supporting as, you know, as best I've seen felt, you know. Mm-hmm. But eventually, once me and Ann started talking about, you know, like us doing an episode and he kept saying, like, you know, maybe maybe we could, we could you could come in type thing. I thought about it and I, knowing how, it, how the 845 is and how, like, I wouldn't say necessarily my influence, but, like, how I am up there and like how my impact is, I felt like it would possibly be something that we could probably use and catapult it. So I thought it made more sense, mm-hmm. you know, especially after a while. Once it once it, it it made it made it to where we could really like take it to where we could make it a profitable, real real platform in the eight four five to where everybody like anybody from the eight four five, if you big or not big, you won't want to come at least once or twice. So 
you know, that's how it happened. And then once we got up there and we did the episode and we just, the vibe just felt like that. It was like, once I got up there, I ain't never leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, literally. That's literally how Never it was. left. Like, do, you, do you do any uh, type of music or anything? I actually, I used to make music, but I, I used to make music more so out of a hobby. It wasn't really like nothing, my passion. Like it wasn't like something I wanted to die for to make music or something. <laughs> I actually used to act. I was like, when I was younger, I used to do commercials. I used to do voiceovers and all that type of stuff. So, you got a perfect lineup for screenplays and actors right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I actually, so. You ever I, thought about getting into the acting? My movie? mom be pressuring me, OD. She wants me to, show, like, she want me to just, like, drop everything and go all in on it. And, um, that's um, something. That speaks a lot about her. Say she see it. Nah, she, like, I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't lie. Definitely. It's, def it's a dedication, though. Because it's not, like, it's easier when you a child actor. Especially because they cast for the, like like it's easy to get cast yeah, as a child like because they 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 look for something in particular. It is a lot more like, dangerous too because you know. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Casting and all that, yeah, but, right. but and, like yeah. when you older, you know, when you older, when you grown and stuff, it's like you know if you don't already have a, a platform or already have like a extensive resume. It's kind of hard to. It's, di it's different than you know just hopping around from from audition to audition. So it's something I would really have to commit to all over. I've definitely even thought about it. No, nah, I've definitely team. thought about it, but honestly, I feel like once you know, once we sat down and we really, like, we really decided that I was gonna be a part of this, and I, I really feel like we could make this into something. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, um, you know, this like a podcast thing is a perfect type of thing for me because it's the camera and it's me talking. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's like the best of both worlds. Like that's just it just does it for me. So we, character, right? yeah, and we can always like especially when it's an open platform for us to talk about anything. Right. So it's like you know, best thing is y'all. There's no restrictions. No nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be hard too for me because you know I'll be on hot on Facebook and I'll be like, yeah. I mean, you know the times that we live in. Yeah. Just everything's so sensitive. So. But you say you be on hot on Facebook, yeah. but that's like the, that's like kind of like the perfect thing because. If you act, because I ain't gonna lie, I do the same thing. You know, just act out on Facebook, just post stuff that you know is gonna get under. Like, you know, people scared of stuff. But it don't like even that. be like that. It'd be like just anything I say, bro. Like, people like, it, like before when it was like when people reported you, it was like anything I say, people would report me. Like, we could be having a sports debate and I could be like, Michael Jordan and Cohen or some shit. The next thing I know, I'm blocked for that. Like, yeah. Why am I blocked for calling Michael Jordan something? Like, but the, something like, the same people that's reporting you is going to be the same people that's watching. Oh, no, 100%. That's, that's why that's I'm like, always with it. I'm always with it. Don't get it wrong. It's like now, you know, now oh, I'm the funny shit. Like, if I say... Like, every nigga got a platform to talk exactly. what you're talking about. Like, that's why I'd be like, 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 you know, like, because from Jump, like, first episode, like, you know, people, all my friends, they want me to get on the camera. They just want me to just straight suck my dick. I tell everybody, <laughs> they want me to just go crazy. I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm not about to... They want, they want the rap, they want me to tell the rappers on the, like, the first song, like, yo, that shit sucks, bro. Like, I'm like, yo, bro, I was supposed to have an hour episode, and y'all want me the first yo. 10 minutes to be like, yo, this shit trash, bro. Like, I gotta at least give niggas chances to at least... You feel me? Because it's like, you got to think about it. We on camera, too. You never know who's watching. They not watching the comments like us. So they don't even know how many really viewers it is. So for all they know, it could be a hundred. It could be a thousand. They don't know how many people watch it. So they nervous. Spotlight on them. They got a rap and shit. And they want me to. So, you know, it's, it was a balance. But as we got, as like, you know, as the weeks go on, the more episodes go on, we get in. We start talking more. You know, the, the, the fellas make me feel more home. Give me more of like a say-so. Make me feel like, That's important. you know, yeah, once that happened, and it's like, all right, well, now, yeah, really, now we all talking at least. So now it's easier for me to speak as far as on the episode and off camera as far as where I, where I think we should go, what I think we could do, what I think we should do, mm -hmm. like how we should approach certain things. So, you know, it's just becoming more of a family thing. It's becoming more real for everybody, I feel like, so. I can already see, like, talking to you, you that person that is being around, like, you kind of keep everybody level-headed, it seems like. Yeah, like, you know, I've I, I always been like that, though. I, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely thirty. So. Yeah. I ain't mean to bring it up. I ain't mean to bring it up. Yo, bro, I just know what's so crazy. Yo, bro, you know what's so crazy. I promise you, I promise you. It's mad. It's mad weird because you know when you a young boy and you out here buck when you a young boy and you out here, you know living and stuff and you thinking and you like when I'm be thirty, you're like you damn, I'm thirty. But now that I'm thirty. That's what it got. That shit feels so regular. Like I feel like I'm really like twenty something still. Like not that I act like that, but I feel like. Bro, I feel I like I got now. That's why I was like, I don't. I don't, know, it don't it, it, like maybe it's maybe it's because maybe I don't know. Like I went to go play. I'm not gonna lie. I went to go play basketball like three weeks ago, and there was some young niggas out there, and they was running circles around niggas. Yeah. So I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But also, all I do is smoke weed and play PlayStation. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> that's not th that's not a thirty thing. That's more like what do I actually be doing with my time? Like maybe if I go work yeah, out more than me. Yeah, yeah, maybe if I go work out a little bit, blah 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 blah, all that type of shit. So you know how that go.
Yeah, we're about to go ahead and take a break right now. We're going to get back into it when Let's we get come it. back. Shout out to Two Humble Productions, fellas. Hey. Appreciate y'all for coming through. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you for having us.